Today we're going to install part number 118304 from Tow Ready, um, an 08 Toyota Sienna minivan. Okay, first step we need to do is remove both tail lights. Let's we'll start with the passenger side and work our way over to the driver's side. Okay, to remove the tail light, we gotta push this little pin down and take it apart. We'll go ahead and do the same for the other side. Okay, the next one thing we need to do is remove this interior trim panel right here. And there's three of these latches we have to move going all the way across from left to right. There you go. Yes. Once we have those tie downs taken off, we can go ahead and remove this back uh, trim panel. Kind of pry it out from the back that way and kind of lift up at the same time and it'll come loose. At this point, we need to go ahead and pull this panel away. We don't have to take it out, but we have to have access to get our hands in there to get to the other side of the wire harness. There's a lot of different options on different vans like this, so be careful. Sometimes they have maybe a different compartment here. Tabs. Uh, we've got a cobalt outlet and light here, so be careful you don't pull any wires out there. That's probably all we need right there to get into it. Might want to get something to help pry it open while you get your hands in there. But that's about it. Going back to the passenger side, we need to take off the cover for the spare tire tools and probably take those tools out to give us a little room so we can get back behind the wire and back there. Well, starting off with our driver's side, we're going to take the yellow blue wires and go on the driver's side. Uh, we're gonna feed them up through here, and we'll connect to this connector right here. Then our tail light will actually plug in to the back of this, replace it. Then we need to run our wire down and out of the way. Next step we need to do is run our passenger side lights. That's going to be the red for the stop light lamp and the green for the running lights. And when you do is sneak this under this panel here, down towards the bottom, we're going to sneak everything in there with the converter box and the four pole flat. The rest is actually stored back in here. Next we need to sneak this wire up along the inside of this plastic here, and then we can come out by the opening by the tail light. We'll make our connection. Okay, the remaining wire, we're actually just gonna tuck away behind the plastic here. Now I'll go ahead with jack tools. And again, this box is going to stay on the inside. The next way we want to do is our ground school. We want to find a good place to ground this to. Generally, if you can, find a place that's kind of laminated between two pieces of metal so you have more metal to run your attachment point into. So let's we'll look around for that. What we're going to do is go ahead and try to drill our, our ground point through these two layers of metal right here. And then we'll just sneak our wire behind all this and bring it up to it. And still take our box here and we'll just tuck it back down in the bottom here. There's a flat spot so we actually use the adhesive to hold it in place. I'll try to put it down as far as the bottom as possible. Next we'll take our four pole wire and unbundle it, pull it out of the way, and we'll reinstall our jack tools, make sure everything fits. Okay, while we're here, in use, you, you can actually, we'll shut this panel and then just drape it over the edge here. We'll cover it in a little more detail later. Okay, at this point we just go ahead and start reassembling our plastic components. We'll go ahead and push this component back into place and then we'll put our threshold back down. Now we can go ahead and put our taillights back together. We'll start the passenger side.
power install is basically complete and we'll show you how to use the harness when you're plugged up to a trailer. Again, you're going to have this pulled out like so. Shut your tailgate. And if you notice, there's still plenty of room in there with the seal where you can actually pull it out as needed also. And there you have it for our install of, for our wiring, part number 118304 on an 08 Toyota Sienna LE.